Hey everybody, it's Reed Comics 81 and I'm back with another comic book haul video. This video is not for children, so if you're not at least 18 years old, please turn it off. Okay, so uh, I've been doing a lot of hunting uh, recently. Uh, I've gone on a couple road trips and have been doing some eBay hunting as well. And I've got a small stack of books here to show. So I'm still working on this Marvel Universe Deluxe or Master Edition here. And I think I've got about seven or eight more of these uh, card packets here that I need to complete the set. And I might have to pick up uh, one more binder. But I uh, managed to pick up a few more of these at Second and Charles. Uh, this is number five. And um, the prices on these were pretty good. This is, uh, I paid three ninety five. dollars I don't know if you can see that. three ninety five for each of these at Second and Charles. And these things usually go for... 10 to 15 dollars on eBay so glad to grab these number five number eight um, I'm having problems with my phone focusing lately guys sorry about that I might have to actually get a new phone because this problem is getting worse and worse okay also picked up number 12 for 3.95 and also got this one from eBay this one's still sealed number 14 and I want to say I paid 10 or 12 dollars for that after shipping not sure which but yeah still chipping away at that and I still plan on making a video uh, to talk about um, this master edition set so look for that in the uh, not too distant future I hope I'm trying to wait till I get all of these uh, card packets before I make that video all right, so went to the flea market and found some dollar books. Got Amazing Spider-Man 10, first appearance of Spider-Punk. That was $1. Nice high-grade copy of that. Uh, let's see, what else did I get from there? Um, sorry, guys, these books are kind of out of order. Went to my LCS also and... Got some back issues. Picked this up. Spider-Man number one. This is the second printing variant. Uh, the way you know it's a second printing is because Miles is actually wearing a mask there. This was half off $4, so I thought that was a pretty good deal, um, considering all the Miles mania that's been going on lately. Um, okay, also grabbed this for a dollar at the flea market. Quasar. Uh, says number one, but this is actually number 32. This is the error edition. See there, it says number one, and it's a new stand, high grade. Um, pretty tough book to find, at least it has been for me. It's not a very expensive book. If you went on eBay and bought a copy of this, uh, for the new stand, high grade, you'd probably pay probably around $15. So no big deal, just a cool little thing to have. <clears throat> Let's see. Also picked up this. This is a uh, was this eBay purchase? Where did I get this from? No, this was a, a used media store purchase. Um, this store that I go to occasionally uh, has a lot of CDs and DVDs, but they also have some comics. And I found this in their bin. This was priced at ten dollars, which isn't the greatest deal in the world. However. Uh, these Spidey Super Stories books are really tough to find in good condition, uh, especially this one with the black cover. I've been looking for this one forever and didn't want to pay eBay prices for it, but pretty happy with the condition of this book. It does have the uh, Spidey coupon on the back. Nice clean copy, so happy to pay 10 bucks for that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I don't buy a whole lot of new books. Every now and then I will buy a new book if it's really hyped up and just to see you know, what the hype is about and uh, mostly just to give new books a chance again. So I might buy one or two new books a year, really. That's about it. They don't usually do much for me. Um, I find that I read new books and like it takes me like five minutes to read a new book where a book like... Well, not Spidey Super Stories because it's an easy reader book, but say something like this would take me, I don't know, 20 minutes to read. So 
in my opinion, for the price of, of new books, like four or five dollars each, you don't really get a whole lot for your money. But I did decide to pick up this Batman 92 uh, because there was a lot of hype surrounding um, Punchline and I just wanted to give it a shot. So I bought it, read it in like five minutes and was not impressed. <laughs> and I'm just going to leave it at that. So uh, I'll wait a while and maybe next year I'll try a new book again, but uh, I'll stick to back issues. Okay, let's get these out of the way. Also at my LCS, they have a spinner rack up front with, with quarter books in it. And not too many people look at the spinner rack. I, I've never really seen anybody looking at the spinner rack, but I look at it every time I'm there, which is about once a month or so, and check to see what they have. And I did find some old Charlton comics for 25 cents a piece. See the price tag there. And um, I think Night Tiger will like these. This is Billy the Kid number 65. This is a Silver Age book for 25 cents. You can't go wrong. Also picked up number 91 for a quarter. Number 129 for a quarter. And found number 133 for 25 cents as well. So I don't have very many Charlton books, but I think I might just start picking these up when I can find them cheap like this. I kind of like them. They're just, they're different and, um, you know, a piece of comic book history. So pretty cool finding those so cheap. Okay, also found this. Uh, don't remember where I found it from. I've been all over the place hunting the last few weeks. But this is the first appearance of Mandrill and uh, Shanna the She-Devil number four. I think, I want to say I paid, oh, I know where I got this. I got this from the Antique Mall. And I paid $3 for this. Just a book that's been on my radar for a while. Uh, didn't want to pay what people are asking for a near mint copy. So this is good enough for me. Okay. Also at that same antique mall, I found this. Captain America Annual number 3. Really nice high grade copy of this. Jack Kirby art. Beautiful cover in my opinion. And I paid three fifty dollars for that. So I thought that was a pretty darn good deal. <clears throat> okay, also another um, second and Charles Fine One Punch Man free comic book day. Paid a dollar for that. I don't even know if this was like one of the one of the hot books, and um, I don't even know what it's really going for. But I figured a dollar, might as well check it out. Um, read it and didn't like it. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll either hold on to it or maybe sell it off someday. I don't know. Okay, also picked up uh, at the um, flea market a couple more copies of Badger number one. This one's, I didn't realize that this one has a, uh, a crease down here and a couple of spine ticks there until I got it home, but that's okay. I'll use that as my reader copy, and I also picked up a near mint copy for a dollar. So this makes, I want to say, my seventh copy of this book. It's a really good read, a cool character. If you guys can find this book for cheap, I recommend picking it up. And you never know. I mean, somewhere down the line, there could be a Badger movie, and wouldn't that be awesome? All right. Uh, starting to wind it down here, guys. Uh, got some more Fantastic Four run fillers, and uh, these were... I didn't pay much for these. I think like two bucks tops. I don't really remember how much I paid, but two twenty five, two twenty six, two thirty nine with Frankie Reyes Nova, uh, two seventy, two eighty six, two ninety five, and also a really nice high grade copy of. Annual number 16. Someone just showed this off recently in one of their videos. I think it might have been Schoon's Comics showed this one off. And um, he was saying how he uh, felt like the Steve Ditko art here um, wasn't the greatest. And um, I got to disagree. Uh, I really like this cover. He also does the interior art on this book. And to me, this is... Classic Ditko art. Uh, 
Steve Ditko's art did not really evolve that much from the days of Spider-Man up until, you know, his his later work. But I think it's pretty consistent. And um, this is, uh, to me, just classic Steve Ditko art. So I like it. Okay, um, last book I want to show. Hold on, guys. I got to actually grab it. I forgot to grab this book out of my box. And this will only take a second. You can look at that lovely Ditko art while you're waiting. And where is it? Here it is. Got it. Okay, so I did pick up one big book. And if you follow me on Instagram, uh, you've already seen this. But so happy to get this book in my PC. I still cannot believe I own this book. It is so awesome. And that is Fantastic Four number 12. Uh, the first meeting of the Hulk and the Fantastic Four. Um, the first battle between the Hulk and the Thing. And, uh, yeah, I paid up for this, but at the same time, I feel like I got a really good deal. So that's cool. And I do like uh, the date stamp there, December 3rd, 1962. I know a lot of people don't care for date stamps. They consider them like blemishes or whatever. But I love a good date stamp, especially when it's placed somewhere that just kind of like, you know, adds to the art. And I think that placement of that date stamp is really good. Sometimes you'll see a date stamp like up here and only part of it or whatever. But um, a really good date stamp placed nicely. I, I just love it. I think it adds to the character of the book. And uh, yeah, this is one of those books. I've talked about this before um, when I picked up one of the Catwoman 51 copies that I used to own. I've gotten rid of those, but um, it's one. Of, this is one of those books. It's kind of like Catwoman Fifty One, where it looks really cool, and when you see it on people's videos and you see it on the computer, like on eBay and stuff, but you really can't appreciate how awesome this book is. This cover until you see it in person. I, I don't know what it is about that. It's kind of like maybe seeing a celebrity in person. It's like it's just different. I don't know. I'm probably just rambling now, but anyway. Yeah, happy to get this FF number 12. Uh, another major book knocked off my uh, my list. And yeah, that'll do it this time around, guys. Thank you for watching. This has been Read Comics 81. Happy hunting, hunting everyone. And I will see you all next time. Bye.